Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I am going to be looking at screencasting and screen recording tools for Linux on Wayland. Now, during the week, I've watched a few videos and the upshot is that Ubuntu and Fedora are going to be dropping X11 for their GNOME desktop environment in their next releases. So what does that mean for the average user? Well, if you don't use screencasting tools, it doesn't mean much at all. Um, but Wayland does have other issues, which I'll go to in other videos. But for screen recording, if you record any sort of video, then some tools just won't work with Wayland. So in this video, I'm going to show you tools that work, tools that don't work, and the ones that I recommend. So here we are. Um, this is my desktop. And the first tool I'm going to show you is OBS, which is the one I'm using now. I am using Wayland on Nabara Linux. Now, Nabara Linux is based on Fedora Linux, and it implements Wayland impeccably well. So it works better than most other distributions when it comes to Wayland. So it's it's very well integrated. So this is OBS. Now the, the complaint that some people have with OBS is it's quite tricky to use. And looking at the interface, you can probably see that it's quite fully featured. What you're seeing here is my screen. And because the screen's recording, it's now showing a mirror effect gradually getting smaller. If I minimize it, you can see that my background's in the background. If I go to the right, it shifts to the right and then to the left. So you can see that it's recording the screen perfectly well. And basically you've got the button here, start recording, stop recording. And if you want to stream to the internet, you can do start streaming, stop streaming. It's as simple as that. Where you have to set things up is in the sources window here. So you can see I've got two sources. I've got the screen capture for Pipewire and the audio input capture for Pipewire. So if you click on this plus symbol here, you've got all the different sources you can use. Now where some distributions let this down is they don't always have a screen capture set up properly. So sometimes you'll see screen capture Pipewire, sometimes you'll see it screen capture XSHM or something like that. But sometimes that just won't be there. And that will be because the distribution in question hasn't installed everything you need to get this installed. So what I recommend when you're using something like OBS, use the flat pack. Flat packs are more likely to work than non flat packs. But Nabara Linux have set it up very well indeed. Everything works. So all I've done here is I've clicked on this screen capture. And then that lets you choose which screen you want to record. And then I've selected the audio input capture and that lets me choose which uh, input device I want to use for recording. Now you can see I've got this thing here, um, audio input capture and mic aux. You'll see that I've got that muted. If I have both of those on at the same time you get an echo effect. So um, that's why I've muted this one. Uh, so it's just using the audio input capture there. And you see desktop audio, I just haven't got a speaker set up to play this out at this moment in time. So that is OBS Studio. It works very well. If I go into the settings of OBS Studio, uh, essentially you can change the appearance. But the, the, the key things here is you've got streaming settings and you've got recording settings. Recording settings are grayed out because obviously I'm recording at this moment in time. But you can change the recording quality. You can change the output format, uh, the encoders, etc. Uh, audio, you can choose the rates, uh, the monitoring device, that's the output device it's using. And in the video, you can choose the aspect ratio of the video and various other settings. And then you've got hotkeys and you've got advanced settings as well. So that's OBS Studio. And this is the one I recommend. If you can get used to using it, this is the one I recommend using for Wayland. It's the one that's most consistent across most distributions. So the one that some people like to use on X11 is called Simple Screen Record. Now I have installed Simple Screen Record and and as you can see, as soon as you load Simple Screen Record up, it says you are using a non X11 Windows system, which is only partially supported. Now, I think uh, the developers of Simple Screen Recorder, if they want to, they could actually get it working with Wayland, but they just haven't yet. And it's probably something in the works. But for now, it's not going to do what you want it to do. Now, the next one I want to try is called Voco Screen. And you can see here, this used to be experimental, but it seems to now work perfectly well with Wayland. Um, essentially, you can choose your audio device down here. So I'm choosing my Yeti or Mono. And you can choose full screen or window. And when I click start, it's going to ask me to pick the screen I want to record like that. So I can now choose this screen and I can start recording. 
So now I am recording using Voco Screen. I'm hoping this is going to come out okay in my video. If not, I'm going to have to do a voiceover. But this is Voco Screen. If I minimize, uh, you can see I can now record the whole screen. So I can click here and bring up a menu, etc. And it should come out on my video okay. If I open up a file explorer like that, close that down. And then we click stop on the video. If I now go to my videos folder and go to the Voco screen that I've just recorded, this one here. So now I am recording. You can see that's come out okay. So Voco screen is a viable screen casting, screen recording tool for Wayland and it's quite straightforward to use in comparison to OBS. It's virtually the Holly Hot Drive start and stop. So the next one we're looking at is called Kuha. Now, as you can see, it is a very simple interface indeed. You've got this button here, capture a window or monitor. You can disable desktop audio. You've got the enable microphone and you've got the high pointer. And then you've got this little drop down here where you've got preferences. Um, so where it's going to record it to, the format, and then the frame rate. So then you just click this record button here and it should start recording. So this is me using Kuha and let's see if this is actually going to work. You see it's got a countdown timer and it kind of jumps a little bit um, when it's recording, but it is recording. Can we minimize this at all? You can and there's more actions. So if I minimize this, where does it go? It goes down there. And let's see if this works. Click this button here. And yes, we've got the menu. We can open a file explorer. We can close the file explorer. And let's see, has that recorded? 33 seconds of video. So let's go and see where it's put that file. We've got Kuha folder. And we've got this file here, which is nine megabytes. So this is me using Kuha, and uh, let's see if this is actually going to work. And you can see that was working perfectly well. So to sum up, my choices of screen recording tools for Wayland are number one, OBS Studio. If you can get used to using that, then it is the ultimate one to be using. Uh, Voco Screen NG works very well indeed. And Kuha, uh, whilst basic in nature, does actually do the job. So whilst Ubuntu and Fedora will be dropping the uh, X11 for the GNOME desktop, there are other options available. And that is the end of the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.